Hey guys, it's me Felicielle and today we're back with a new sketchbook tour. So yes, I have the same nail polish on and the same sweater and all because I'm filming the new sketchbook tour directly after the previous one because I'm exploiting the fact that my boyfriend isn't home because he has exams and I feel awkward filming when he's around. So anyways, so the previous sketchbook as you probably might have seen was from December 2018 to May 2019 and it was tiny. And as you probably remember, I did a bunch of watercolors but the paper really wasn't fit for it. So I decided that my next sketchbook would be dedicated to watercolor, like it would be a thick paper that would really take it well. And I also wanted to size up because I really enjoyed the small format. Hello cat, you might see my cat's tail, I'm sorry for that. So I might have enjoyed the smaller format, but I wanted to try for the first time again in a very long time an A4 size. Let me put this aside and we'll start the tour. So um, as you can see, I once again have a sticker on top of it. Um, I got it for free at this uh, art school convention type of thing. So that's where it's from. So it starts off once again with the date. So from May to November 2019 and with the OC sheet kind of in a way like I was exploring my new character. So you might remember that this sketchbook ended with a drawing of this new OC that I wanted to do and my old OC. So I decided to name her Rylan and I wanted to do a colored version and see what she would look like. But the thing is, my stupid ass forgot that the first page isn't the same paper as the other pages. Like this wasn't watercolor paper. So it did not take it very well. And I feel stupid because it's obvious that this is not the same paper. Anyways. So we got, first of all, some drawings of people in carts because I thought that that was cool. Um, and you'll see that in this sketchbook i really didn't explore as much drawing backgrounds and scenery it's a lot of watercolor so we got this character um licking a statue which i love this drawing but a bunch of people find me super fucking weird for it but i can't help myself but loving it it's so cool um like i imagine that his lover is in a statue and he's and he's stuck there loving his statue, etc. So then we got those two characters um, done in watercolor once again. So that's when I was really wanting to explore the watercolor because it really looked nice on this paper. Um, for inking, I was using my microns and I was just doing a bunch of lines angrily without thinking. So that's for this. Then we have some things that are never finished, some random doodles of a character that are just there. And this was um, supposed to be the sketch for this baker piece I was going to do, but honestly that I might do now. Uh, this character that was going to uh, crawl out of a laundry machine and that the water inside was flooding the place. Here are some more watercolors where I was trying to draw birds. So we got a chicken, a pigeon, and whatever that type of bird is. But it had really nice colors. I'm a very big fan of how I do that pigeon because it looks really nice. The grain of the paper gave a nice texture to it all, I find. So that, that was really cool to experiment. And as you can see, um, this was the start of my obsession with the new album of 21 Pilots. So this was uh, for their trench album. So I decided to draw them and the little creature that they had for chlorine and um, this bird. And uh, yeah, this was really cool. I had this phase where I was constantly listening to their new album. Um, huge 21 Pilots fan, got a shirt, went to their concert, etc. So that was nice. And I used some gold watercolors that I was just trying out for the first time or so um, here because I thought that it would make some cool reflections. Then this is um, 
a page full of portraits, so I was using a brush pen that then started to dye, which gave all this texture. So here it was also this brush pen, the face as well. So um, this was really cool for like trying out the grain of the brush being dry and I really really enjoyed it. And I did a sort of ink wash um, with some acrylic ink I believe, um, which was really nice as well. Then we got a drawing uh, done in watercolor of a horse head. Um, not amazing. That horse looks blue. Um, we got an alien horse here. Then here was a drawing of a picture that I found. Um, and once again, playing with the gold watercolor to make it pop out a bit. You can't really see it on camera, which is a shame. Um, and it was in front of the Louvre pyramid. So that was nice. And once again, watercolors with micron pens for inking. And I used some uh, colored pencil for adding uh, texture in the shadows, which I really enjoy doing still today. Then here's a little sketch of a drawing I wanted to jot down of a character stuck in a suitcase. And here is some scenery that I never finished. So then here is a drawing I genuinely really enjoyed. Um, of this character that's like hurt with bruises and blood. Um, this is a follow-up of me trying to figure out how to draw um, those type of things uh, from my old sketchbook that you might remember. And I wanted to see how it would seem in color. And I really wanted to try out this, you know, like we can't see the eyes type of thing uh, with the bangs going really low. Um, I added some purple for the shadows and a bunch of lines for the shading. Here's some random sketches that I never finished. Some more sketches I never finished. And this was a character that had his rats on him because I still have an obsession with rats. They're so cool. Now that I have a cat, I'm low-key sad I cannot get rats anymore because I'm scared she'd just kill them. Um, but yeah, I love rats. They're, they're so cool. Moving on, we got this character that was done with my Faber-Castell brush pens and she clearly has a broken leg, but apart from that, all good. Um, I actually kind of enjoy how I was doing like the one color, then adding some shadows and again a third color. Um, and here is a drawing with a background, but here's a twist. I hate it. So. Um, the character is wrong. She has no elbow on this arm. The background looks weird. Um, moving on. Um, this was supposed to be the drawing, like the sketch for this really cool drawing I was going to do, but that I never did, which is a shame because it was gonna be so fucking cool. But here though is a page I love because um, this was done with watercolors, a bit of colored pencil, my micron pens, and I added this with my brush pen. And I really love this. This is a mood. This is me. Um, yeah, I love this so much. Then we got this uh, study I did from this uh, drawing I saw on Pinterest. Once again, I cannot tell you who it was from because Pinterest sucks for this reason. Um, but yeah, there's the koi fish around her and that looks really cool. So this is what it's from. Then we got this, which is a um, movement sed study from this dance that I saw on YouTube. And so here's like the timestamps and I was drawing what they were doing. Um, I should do this again once I actually know how to draw now today uh, because that was a really fun exercise to do. Then we got this um, other drawing um that's pretty cool pretty sure it wasn't my design it was a study from somebody and i really love this page for this guy um so i wanted to draw this like businessman with anime hair and it looks amazing um this is me with my hair though um so i wanted to just try it out and it was really funny Then we got this uh, drawing of a king with long hair and a beard and I wanted to see how he would be with different angles. Um, once again, micron pen, uh, highlighter for the 
outline, or no, not even actually, maybe with my Faber Castell pens. Um, so yeah. And here we got the good old mighty uh, Greta Thunberg uh, that was drawn here, because I don't know, it was at the time where she was really everywhere on the news. Um, so I thought I'd take my try to draw her. Um, pretty happy with it, to be honest. Doesn't really look like her though, but you know, oh well. I like how I did the the braid though. That looks nice. Here we got a drawing that I never finished, which actually was done with gouache. Um, I did a first layer with watercolors, and then I was passing over with some gouache, and I was using my Arteza gouache that I kind of started to learn how to use, but I never really um, took the time to study and all. And here is something I really love. So this is done with my pro markers, like my alcohol markers. Um, and then I passed over with my microns. Um, I really like using kind of dried out uh, pens because it looks cool. Um, and yeah, I just feel like she has this really nice texture. Here was the gouache drawings that I did, some more. So we got this guy, and we got her. Um, I have mixed feelings about them. Like, he looks too purple. She looks too... emotionless. Um, and yeah, and I don't like her hair. I just used a brush pen, and it looks like watercolors. Um, so yeah. Then we got some doodles of this punk that I wanted to do. I wanted to do a home punk, so it was going to be him um, in his couch drawing, uh, playing the video games. Um, and here is a drawing of somebody laying down against a cheetah. Don't do that, it's dangerous. Then we got my house sketches, which I really love. Um, so there were houses that I found on Google and that I decided to draw and paint them in watercolor. I never did the third one or the fourth one, but you know, two is already nice. And here is a character I did in watercolor. Um, not a huge fan, to be honest. The anatomy now just looks super wrong, so that's why I don't really like it as much. And then this was the kind of concepts uh, and like ideas for the Inktober. And here's this guy on the phone. Um, I really like this though. Like that's that's pretty cool. And uh, I like his business vibes and like I'm busy, I'm on the phone uh, with his shoes and all and the posture is nice. Then we got more doodles for Inktober. So we got a uh, bait, which was a turtle and bags, like shopping bags, plastic. Then we got freeze, so I decided to do Medusa. We had Husky, we had Build, so I wanted to do like the You Can Do This poster. And Enchanted, then Swing. Um, this was some random drawing I did, um, which doesn't look great, once again. Um, this was done with my alcohol-based markers, once again. It's honestly not that bad now that I look at it, but it's clearly not something I was comfortable with doing. Like this is experimentation for me. Here is this bald guy with his sandwich, which I really love. Here is this character with a sandwich. Um, here is somebody being tired and tired and crying. Those were nice. I should have like colored them, I believe. Then we have some animal studies. So, you know, I won't be able to name them all, but we got an owl, a kangaroo, monkey, etc. And then this was a sketch for a drawing that I never finished. So yeah. And finally we got some body studies. So we got like a thin and muscular one. Like it's like no fat, but only muscle. And here's like a, a rounder model. Uh, which was also really nice to do, but it's pretty wrong now that I look at it now. And then here we have this character, like this fallen angel type of angel, I guess. Um, that's like super thin and skinny and 
malnourished. And uh, yeah, this is it for the sketchbook. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as you can see, the sketchbook was a lot less of random minus doodles. This was more of like finished drawings or work in progresses that I never had the time to finish. This is why you'll be able to see in the next videos that I went back down for the sketchbook size because it felt like too much pressure to have a giant A4 um, sketchbook. But anyways, um, this is still a very nice sketchbook that I really like because I believe that the watercolors that are inside are really nice. So that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it if you like and comment down below whatever you want like let's just you know have a nice chat down below you can subscribe if you're new i try to post videos um, now and then about art and random chill videos where we talk and uh yeah that's pretty much all for me folks um see you next time tschüss